Solar batteries are flying off the shelf. U.S. demand for solar batteries is expected to grow from 18 gigawatt hours in 2022 to over 110 gigawatt hours by 2030. That's over 600% growth in only eight years. But some batteries like the Tesla Powerwall 3 are becoming harder and harder to find. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the current Tesla Powerwall shortage and what alternatives are available if you need to install battery storage now. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Tesla Powerwall 3 shortage. Now, we've been getting reports here from distributors and installers that Tesla Powerwalls are becoming harder and harder to get back in stock and to get back in inventory. Now, Tesla sells Powerwall 3 through two main channels. Uh, one is through wholesale distribution. Solar distributors like CED Green Tech, or now called Green Tech Renewables, uh, or Baywa, um, as well as they also will sell direct to large solar installers, so long as those installers can meet the minimum order quantities. So th these are gonna be your larger companies like uh, Freedom Forever, uh, formerly Titan Solar Power, but companies that are at that scale where they can buy in large enough quantities to buy directly from Tesla. But we're hearing reports both from installers and distributors that deliveries of Tesla Powerwall 3 either are not happening or orders are being fulfilled with quantities less than those requested, uh, or the delivery timelines have been pushed out. So for some reason, getting our hands on new Tesla Powerwall 3 units has become more difficult. Now, according to this article on Reddit, Tesla identified a flaw with their integrated solar inverter at the Nevada Gigafactory, and therefore they've had to halt production on certain Powerwall units until the fault can be corrected. Now, of course, the other issue is securing the necessary battery cells. Uh, and in the case of Tesla, their vehicles are also competing with their Powerwall home batteries as to who is going to get those battery cells first. It, it appears that Tesla is prioritizing their electric vehicle production over home battery production if cells become limited. And when these battery cells become in high demand, it's not uncommon for a manufacturer like Tesla or others to have to go to the battery cell supplier and pre-purchase capacity or pre-purchase uh, delivery of that product before it's actually been manufactured. And so in this case, it seems that there may be some issues with the battery supply chain, but we're gonna be investigating this more and we'll make sure that we share this information with you. Now, this is nothing new when it comes to Tesla. Uh, in the past, Tesla has always had this talent for being able to market and create demand for the product uh, before the physical product was actually there to deliver or, or the capacity, the factory capacity was there to deliver on that demand. And it appears that Tesla and its sales partners out there, hundreds of sales and installation partners, um, have oversold and created more demand than what we're able to fulfill at this moment. So why is demand for home batteries so high right now? Well, the reason is because net metering programs are going away. Now, when we talk about a net metering program, what we mean is basically your relationship with the electric company becomes a two-way relationship. During daylight hours, you can directly power your house using solar panels, and any excess solar electricity you have could be sent back or sold back to the power company for full price credit. So then during the evening hours, when the solar panels are no longer producing, you can just pull energy in from the power company using the credits that you built up during daylight hours. Well, that works great if you're getting full price credit for the electricity that you send out. But now with the new so-called net metering 3.0, in some cases in California, you may have to send the power company four, five, or six kilowatt hours of electricity for every one that you get to pull back during the evening. And so for that reason, many homeowners are choosing to install battery storage with their solar. That way you don't have to worry about buying and selling back and forth with the power company. You simply take your excess solar from the daytime, charge it into a battery, and then run your home off the battery during evening hours so you don't have to worry about buying and selling back and forth with the power company. Uh, and other utilities in other states are following suit. California has always kind of been the trendsetter when it comes to solar energy policy, solar net metering policy. And so we've seen one for one net metering go away in California. It's only a matter of time until other states follow suit, which means that there's gonna be only more and more demand for home batteries going forward. Okay, so if you can't get a hold of a Tesla Powerwall 3, what other alternatives are out there if you need to install solar and battery storage now? I would recommend that you take a look at two competitors, Point Guard and Franklin WH. Now, Point Guard just lowered their prices to match Tesla Powerwall on a, on a dollar per kilowatt hour basis. 
So if you're looking for a very, very cost competitive product that can pretty much be used one for one in place with Tesla Powerwall, the Point Guard home battery system is one that you should definitely take a look at. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous video, Tesla Powerwall versus Point Guard Battery, um, go ahead and watch that previous video where we do a more in-depth head-to-head -head comparison. By the way, Point Guard is part of a larger international company called Sig Energy. So for those of you who have been asking me to review the Sig Energy battery, Point Guard is the name of the Sig Energy battery here in the US. Um, but they've been delivering this battery for several years already in more developed storage markets like Germany and, and you know the greater European Union. So uh, again, if you're looking for a good, solid Tesla Powerwall alternative, Point Guard, backed by their larger parent company, Sig Energy, uh, is, a great, is a great alternative for you. I should also mention that Sig Energy has already secured enough factory capacity to meet all of the forecasted US demand. So in terms of being able to scale up and down with market requirements, Sig Energy is a solid partner, and I'm told they can even stand up a new factory in as little as four months. So this has been a report about the current Tesla Powerwall shortage. Uh, again, folks, we don't know exactly, exactly the cause of this, but we're gonna be investigating further. We also don't know exactly how long this is gonna last, but based on past experience, it could last six to eight months. By the way, we're working on a new project here at Solar Surge, which will allow you to design and build and even purchase your solar power system 100% online without ever having to deal with a salesperson. Uh, unless, of course, you want to. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. We'll have more updates about that coming in the near future. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at solar and battery storage options for your home, um, if you need to get a price quote or maybe you already have a quote, you need to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the right equipment and getting the best deal. Uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with a solar surge expert, uh, or just use our free online quote tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch on solar surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos coming out, it'll come up on your feed so you can stay up to date with everything. Well, that pretty much does it for today's presentation. I thank you for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.